Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic, wrist fractures. Whether from a fall, an accident, or sports, understanding wrist fractures and their treatment can significantly impact your recovery. We'll explore the types of wrist fractures and why casting is often the best solution for effective healing. What is a wrist fracture? A wrist fracture involves a break in one, one or more of the bones in your wrist, typically the distal radius, which is the larger forearm bone connecting to the wrist. This injury usually occurs when you fall and instinctively extend your hand to catch yourself, causing the bones to crack. Types of wrist fractures. One, Cole's fracture. The most common wrist fracture occurring when you fall on an outstretched hand. This fracture causes the distal end of the radius to tilt upward, creating a noticeable bump on the back of the wrist known as the dinner fork deformity. It's particularly prevalent in older adults due to age-related bone weakening. Two, Smith's fracture. The reverse of Coles's fracture. This happens when you fall on a flexed wrist, causing the distal radius to tilt downward. Smith's fracture can be more complex to treat due to the inward displacement of the broken bone. Why casting is effective? Casting is a highly effective treatment for wrist fractures due to several key benefits. Immobilization. A cast keeps the fractured bones properly aligned and immobile, which is crucial for proper healing. Immobilization prevents the bones from shifting out of place and helps promote optimal healing conditions. Support and pain relief. The cast stabilizes the wrist, reducing pain and supporting the bones in the correct position. This stability ensures that the fracture heals correctly and minimizes the risk of complications. Types of casts. Short arm cast. Extends from below the elbow to the knuckles. This type of cast is used for less complex fractures where extensive immobilization isn't necessary, allowing for some wrist movement while still providing support. Long arm cast covers from above the elbow to the knuckles, used for more severe fractures that require additional stability. This cast provides comprehensive immobilization crucial for proper healing in complex cases. The casting process. Reduction. If the fracture causes misalignment, a doctor will perform a reduction to realign the bones. This may involve a manual procedure or surgery, depending on the fracture's complexity. The cast made from plaster or fiberglass is molded around your wrist. Modern fiberglass casts are preferred for their lightweight and durable qualities compared to traditional plaster. Monitoring. Follow-up visits and x-rays are essential to monitor the healing process and ensure the fracture remains properly aligned. Living with a cast. Initial care. To manage swelling and discomfort, keep your wrist elevated and apply ice. This helps control inflammation and reduces pain during the early stages of recovery. Daily adjustments. Keep the cast dry and avoid activities that might affect the healing process. Waterproof covers can be helpful during showers to protect the cast. Maintaining mobility. Despite the cast, perform gentle finger exercises to promote circulation and prevent stiffness. Keeping your fingers active helps maintain flexibility and ensures a smoother recovery. Healing and recovery. Healing time. Most wrist fractures heal within four to six weeks, though this can vary based on the severity of the fracture and individual health factors. Cast removal. Once healing is complete, the cast is removed with a special saw designed to cut through the cast material without harming your skin. The process is quick and relatively painless. Rehabilitation. After the cast is removed, physical therapy might be necessary to regain full strength and flexibility in your wrist. Rehab exercises help restore normal function and prevent long-term complications. Conclusion. Wrist fractures, while common, can be effectively managed with casting, providing crucial support and proper alignment for healing. Understanding these fractures and their treatment can aid in a smooth recovery. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to Dr. Maximo's channel for more orthopedic insights. Thanks for watching and see you next time.